Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me and to all of those who have commented on my videos. I don't have time to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment, so thank you very much. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has donated to support this channel. Thank you. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, oh, before I get to that, uh, I am going on vacation. Um, so I will not be taking any readings from the 6th of September to the 17th of September. Uh, you can still send in your request, but I won't be able to answer you until I get back on the 17th. I will still be taking readings right up until the 5th of September, and then once again upon my return on the 17th. So um, that being said, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with uh, everyone. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. This is for the sign of Libra. For the last half of September going forward, these energies can go out to as much as six months and even out to one whole year. But they are their strongest within those first six months from the time that you view this video. Now for you, Libra, in your overall energy, we have the Magician. There's a very powerful message here with the magician because you do have it twice and this is you sitting here. So um, I feel that you are going to be uh, very powerful uh, as we reach the middle of September going out that the energy is there for you to manifest if you believe. You need to know that you do have everything it takes to manifest that which you desire. Now, the magician can also represent illusions. And um, it's very possible for some of you, if by the look of these cards, you may feel that somebody has tricked you. Now, here I have the con man, which would suggest that you are feeling conned with regards to uh, a situation. Now I have the Queen of Swords here and uh, the Queen of Swords is typically someone who would be separated, divorced, uh, widowed, somebody who lives alone or who is in a relationship but feels alone. Now so I have the Queen here and I have the, oops, I have the King down here. So I'm speaking about a couple. There's some um, unwelcome news uh, that comes between you and changes up this relationship. Now, this could have to do with an earth sign, but it could also have to do with money. If we're speaking of a relationship, this could very well be a karmic relationship. You could be separated from this person at this time. And uh, this relationship could uh, reconcile and could come back around the same situation again. <coughs> Down here we see... Uh, I feel that this person was not emotionally available or shut down emotionally for some reason. Um, it wasn't balanced. One person was giving more than their share, fair share, and I feel that light was shed on that. Um, and I feel it took, uh, if you're separated, it, it took a lot of courage for you to... Um, to leave this person. Um, it's possible you feel that they were an unhealthy attachment here, that the relationship uh, was based on sex and that they didn't really love you. Um, and there was a lot of heartbreak around this. 
It's like you were there, and then it's like you finally realized, okay, this person doesn't love me. I'm, I'm leaving, you know? And um, that's what this looks like here for some of you. The devil can also represent um, third-party relationships or just like a, a third energy that will come in and kind of uh, shake things up. Um, they could have been a workaholic or, um, excuse me, I'm having problems with my mic here, um, somebody very manipulative, very controlling. Um, here we see, we have the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords indicates, it can indicate a third party, all right, like the devil here. Uh, it can also indicate separation, uh, a challenging situation, um, after some sort of news comes to light or after an argument because the page of swords can easily represent sharp words being spoken between you and someone else or they to you um, here this nine of coins uh, on this five would tell me that um, perhaps there was some sort of uh, victory here but it's like a hollow victory because now you're feeling alone. There are some regrets here with the Five of Cups and um, grief over this. But there are two cups left standing if you would but turn around and see them. Um, this being so fresh in your mind, you just, you don't trust this person. You need to take charge of your life and move forward is what this card is saying. But now it could be that you feel you need to make a decision uh, with regards to this uh, relationship. For those of you that haven't left, um, just a sec, I just want to check something here. Yeah, okay. So there are our regrets over whatever this challenging situation was that you have been through. But light was shed upon this situation. Again, reference to news coming in. You may have got wind of this through somebody else um, and made a judgment call, uh, perhaps a harsh one. I feel that... You're praying for answers. You're like up in your head. There are hidden things. There are things that you don't know about. Um, still. And you want to get to the truth of everything. For those views that this is still very fresh. Um, I feel that you would like to reconcile with this person. You want an emotional fresh start with them. Uh, this is a card of second chances here, right next to this um, this Ace of Cups. Again, we have this Ace of Swords. See, and he's holding this sword. Uh, getting to the truth, getting clarity on this shakeup that happened. Regrets. Grief, depression over what has happened, wanting the truth. Um, it wasn't balanced. You feel perhaps you gave more than your fair share to that relationship. And this truth, this clarity, this new way of thinking comes down here and there is a decision to walk away because it just wasn't emotionally balanced, just like this card is saying here. Now, 
I know from s these cards here that there is a uh, an offer that will come back at you out of the past from this person and you are having a lot of internal struggles with regards to this um, and I feel that you would like to take a leap of faith but you don't trust them there's there are hidden things here um, a need for you to take a deeper look at this offer from this person that you are separated from and uh, I do believe that the sun here will shed light upon this situation. And because um, this fool is looking over here, I feel that you should uh, look before you leap. So a truth gets revealed, a second chance is in the uh, realm of possibilities, but can you trust that person? That's what you have to ask yourself. You want the truth and you're going to get the truth. If they weren't emotion emotionally available to you in the past, what makes you think that they would be now? The devil is not emotionally available. He's an illusionist. He is an unhealthy attachment. So that's what I've got for you, Libra. Um, if you would like to book a private reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and many blessings. Bye for now.